right. So one, so one, so one. All right, it's the brothers of Gene Murphy Gene. I'm uh, Karat Desire to my left. All right, Yashua Bar. All right, and uh, you know, we do another lesson. All right, through the spirit and probably out by Shema Shai. And uh, first and foremost, we want to get turned to the face of the East. And we want to give all praise and honor and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Radash. We want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule on T12. And we want to say Shalom to the hopeful left. It's like, we already going, man. I'm not going to wait. I got a thing to do. Come, come. Um, all right, so <clears throat> the title, what would he say? <laughs> Y'all can do more when I'm going. All right, come. Um, so we're going to go into this article, all right, and we're going to speak real briefly about what is written in this article when it comes to certain key words, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we know that, you know, that the pandemic that is plaguing the world right now through the spirit power of the Lord, all right? And there's certain situations that's coming up with this pandemic that are going to reinstate lockdowns within, you know, the United States of America, as you see it going forth in other countries. Yeah. Ger uh, not Germany, but Australia and Iran to be exact, to be a f for a few. Did you want to get the scriptures first or do you want to go into that first? Uh, I'll go into the article first and then we'll right. get into the scriptures. My brother's going to go into these scriptures. I mean, this is article. Come. Go ahead. Come. This is out of uh, this is out of New York City, um, ABC Channel Seven News, and it reads: Voldemort, aka he who cannot be named. Update: New York City require proof of Voldemort for indoor dining, gyms, and and entertainment. Um, reading on. Mayor Bill de Blasio announced a new proof of Voldemort requirement for most indoor events in New York City, believe, believe to be the first such mandate by an American city. Dining at restaurants, working out at a gym, attending a movie or a play will require proof of Voldemort starting August 16th. The enforcement will begin September 13th to coincide with the return of of uh, your children going back to school. Mm. So they probably gonna force children to have it. Man. Con, con. If not the children, the damn uh, teachers and the teachers' aides and the principals and all that. Yep, law enforcement. They're already talking about law enforcement having to take it soon. Um, you know, and um. And, and you know what I'm saying, it ain't going to get any better, but reading on in the article. So, so today, this is Bill DeBaggio speaking, quotes. So today, I announced a new approach, which we are calling the key to New York City pass. <laughs> All right, so that's a, this, he's saying that it's a pass to, to get into New York City. Basically. Con, con. <laughs> it's crazy. The bot. De Blasio said, the key to New York City, when you hear those words, I want you to imagine the notion that because someone is Voldemorted, they can do all the amazing things available in New York City. So hold on a second. So now you got to get this thing in order to do what you were accustomed to doing all your life. So they basically taking away your freedoms if you choose not to get this thing. Come, <laughs> come hey, Shalom, Mikey. I'm about to shout about the thought. Shalom. Um, this is crazy. This is a miraculous place, literally full of wonders. If you are a uh, uh, Voldemort, all that is going to open up to you. You have the key. You can open the door if you are. Voldemort. Unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in many things. That's the point we are trying to get across, you know, and this is just wicked. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 you, you know, this double is going down this route. So that, you know, um, let me grab this one. This yeah. Right quick. Come on, this is uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. 
uh, you shall not make any cut cuttings in your flesh. Uh, for no, this ain't the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, this ain't the one. Let me see. Where was I? Go ahead. I do got it. This is the wrong one. Yeah. So I'm gonna read on in the article. The requirement will apply both to workers and customers, and there will be no option to display a negative test. As as the city attempts to promote Voldemort in the only way to unlock New York City, so you know you shut down New York City and now you want to unlock it with you know this Voldemort thing. So let me get the scripture that I was going to get and and you know you can bring that out when you get it. Um, it's the Book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, and verse sixteen. And he causes all, both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their hand or in their foreheads. Now, we know that this is the prelude to, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, you know, the yeah, CHIP, yep. you know, coming. but a lot of people being hard up, you know, would go that route, you know what I'm saying, and get back to the life that they were used to living before all of this happened. Yep. So a lot of people's going to coincide to get that key to go back to the way that they used to, that they were used to live. Con, 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 because, you know, these people can't stay in change. <laughs> they don't like, they don't want change. They want things to be the same. Con. So when things do change, they get, they get restless. Con. You got something? You me no, you got it. Con. Reading one in the article, it will not apply to outdoor dining. So this only applies to indoor events. So, you know, they're still going to mandate, you know, the mask being worn, even though, you know, this only applies to indoor events. Reading on, the de Blasio administration has been in conversation with, with leaders of various industries to sell the policy. Oh, here it come. Here it come. Because after a while, they're gonna they're gonna try to get your job, you know, to fall in line with this new policy. And some jobs are already doing that, man. Uh, I had a friend that had to either get that situation, get that, get that jab, or lose her job. And so she chose to lose her job, you know, because it's not worth, you know, uh being crippled or paralyzed. It's not worth um you know, damaging any form of your body mm -hmm. for it to continue to live in this society. These people that coincide with what this, that the world is telling them as far as, you know, taking this and that and doing this and doing that and the third, they are choosing to coincide with this society and they're going to, uh, they're going to pay grievously for that, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we know what this, what, what's inside of these, 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 these jabs is nanotechnology, man. And that mm -hmm. nanotechnology is you basically giving yourself to the system, man, saying mm -hmm. that Esau is your God, man, okay? Yep. All right, and now you have Bashim al Shai. And that's for you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Con. The rest of the world we don't care about, man, all right? Because the Lord don't even care about y'all. You got to. And, 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 and land back on what you're saying, this, this is happening fast. You know, a week ago, it was like, we're not going to do these things. Mm -hmm. Now, here it is this week. Monday, it's Tuesday is today, right? Mm -hmm. They're already talking about it's a mandate in New York that these things have got to happen. So, you know, these prophecies are happening fast and they're happening quick. And I got a scripture for you. Um, the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse three. For the, uh, actually, I'll start at, I'll start at verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse two, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. What's the tables? The scriptures. That's true. You know, that he may run that readeth it. And that's what we're doing. We're running because we've read the scriptures and we continue to read the scriptures, you know, to bring the prophecies out, you know, to warn the nation that all of these things are about to happen. Verse three, 
for the vision is set for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And 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 uh, aren't we at the end now? And we are very much close to the end. I can't. Find, I'm trying to Google that scripture, but it's all good. I can't find it. Yes, we are very close to the end, man. Because this devil, as it says in Revelation, is uh, I believe it's eleven and twelve or twelve and twelve. We're about to come down with great wrath. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, it's twelve and twelve. All right. So the, we are in the time of rejoicing, man, because let me just read this because we need to turn our scriptures and not just, you know, steadily talking. Come. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Mm -hmm. And that's right here with this, with this, with this uh vaccination program that they have in place. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I don't know if brother seen it, but the brother in Vegas he he did a he did a video of uh, them making a cartoon back in the day on how to take over the world, and this oh, is the same situation that's playing right out in front of you, mm -hmm. so called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Man, I had put it in the group chat, but it's mm -hmm. basically starting off with a pandemic. Wear your mask, all right? Everybody get jabbed up, mm -hmm. all right? And then if you don't get jabbed up, you're gonna die. They got prisons for those individuals that don't comply all right mm -hmm. we can't be worried about none of those things man because mm -hmm. we are standing free how about she mouth shy and the Lord's gonna protect us man yeah. all right you got uh, Kanye you ever see into the dragon yeah 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 remember that scene where, with um Jim Kelly he was like you know you come right out of a comic <laughs> and that's what's happening yeah you know you know we we have the screenplay that's right you know what I'm saying we prophesy in part, but we have the screenplay. Mm -hmm. We see the property. We see the prophet. We see the prophecies playing out. Um, continuing on with the book of Habakkuk, chapter three. Um, um, I'll start at the beginning of three again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, a few years ago it was tarry. You know, yep, yep. it was taking this time. Shalom, Mike. Y'all watch me. Y'all watch me. Shalom, y'all watch me. Y'all watch me. Kakodash, Barakatha. You know, a few years ago, it was tarrying. It was taking this time. You know, and 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 in that time, you had your scoffers. You know, complaining about. You know, I thought you said it was going to happen. You know, here or there. You know what I'm saying? But now, these things are happening, and it's happening at such a fast rate that quite honestly as far as i'm concerned you know it's hard you know to keep track of all the stuff that's happening on a day-to-day -day basis that's right man there's so much going on man and these things are beautiful because it's just man, it's just getting us closer to our kingdom man kind of and it's a faith builder too yeah that's true things that you see in the news build your faith could be because guess what it shows forth that the scriptures are true man exactly i, I couldn't have said it any better you got it wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry and that's the time that we're in you know, we are in that time where, you know, these prophecies are popping off, you know, the book of Revelations, the book of Second Edris, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, all these prophecies are starting to happen. The book of Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter 24, you know, so on. But all of these prophecies are starting to happen at a rate where the watchmen are actually trying to warn the people before the doors of grace shuts yep you know and the, the the things that are coming man that we are speaking about is destruction man all right because that's the only thing that we look forward to in order for us to receive that kingdom man let me grab this right quick this is uh ezekiel chapter 33 i'm starting at verse two i'm mm -hmm. starting at the top and again the word of yahweh shema shah came to me saying son of man speak unto the children of thy people Right, so Ezekiel, he was an Israelite. So guess who we're gonna be speaking to? Israelites. We Israelites. So guess who we're gonna be speaking to? We speaking to Israelites, right? Huh. It says, and saying to them, when I bring the sword upon the land, and if the people of the land take a man of their coats and set him for their watchman, if when he see of the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take is not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Mm -hmm. All right, so you people that don't want to take heed to what it is that we say through the spirit and power, you have your mouth shot. That's totally on you, man. That's between you and the Lord. Your blood will be with on you, man. But we are doing the best to, to our abilities to cleanse our hands of your blood, man. All right, yeah. 
And ultimately, the grace of the Lord was going to make sure that we are clean of your blood, okay? But we still have to do our portion. And most importantly, our portion ties in with faith, man, and doing what it is that you know you're supposed to do as a watchman because the brother brought up being a watchman. Go ahead. I see you guys. Con, con. So going on in the article. Um, yeah, so, so um, you know, he wants to talk with various industries, you know, to sell the policy. And the news becomes weeks after the mayor said he would seriously consider a program similar to Francis um, 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 Voldemort's passport program. So it's already happening in France. Yeah. And then I believe in Israel, they have those, they had that green passport bullshit, man. All right. Mm -hmm. All this stuff is happening around these other countries. Don't think that it's not going to happen here in America, man. Oh. And it's slowly showing you that these, that, that, the 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 wine and the doctrine that these other countries are pushing forth is going to come here into America, man. All right, the the America, all right. New York is like one of the center vocal points of, of Babylon and California. Whatever happens in one of those two places first, it trickles on through the rest of America, man. Okay, all right. We know D.C. is the 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 capital of the United States, but Babylon. You know, to, in my in, just from my perspective, man, it starts in it starts in one of those two states, man, California or New York, and everything trickles in between, man, reaching into the other, man. So if this started here, wait, watch watch something pop up in California next, man, within that same context of passports, and you have to show vaccination cards, man. You got it, right? yeah. Or out of kale. Um, continuing on in the um, article, so. Yeah, um, let me just read this. And it reads, not everyone is going to agree with this. I understand that. There we go. Sedition among men is going to be amongst them. Go ahead. I so they already know there's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Con, you know, like what you said, alluding to um, the book of Second Nexus, chapter yeah, 15, I, I think verse number 16 or 15, something like that. You. Yeah, so, you know, this devil knows that that there's going to be a problem. I'll be right back. Con. You're probably out there. Con. You know, this devil knows that there's going to be a problem the same way he already knows that division is already set in place, you know. So let me get that out of the book of Second Edris. Um, I called it, so let me pull it. Um, Salakia, Akim, Salakia, Salakia, Salakia. The book of Second Edris, chapter 15 in, 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 Verse number, verse number 16, the book of Second Nature, chapter 15 and verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. So they know that there's going to be a problem with a lot of people accepting, you know, these new policies, you know, that's coming down the pipe. So the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is already warning us about the up and coming events as far as this, this sedition. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So that's what we're about to enter into because a lot of people ain't going for, you know, these new policies that, that you know, this devil's trying to implement because they just spent the last year um 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 under un, under you know, like a false pretense of of the of of you know this thing that that isn't even true you got be you good on the sword you sound really well I just, I just read the second. I just read that preset that you pulled, the book second that you said the ninth. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm a. Did you made your point already? I'm gonna jump on the ninth chapter right quick Come on. because uh, uh <clears throat> excuse me, this dude in New York, you know, he's showing forth that these things that the Lord is talking about is coming to pass, man. All right, death and destruction. All right, so this is 2nd Edges 9 and 1. He answered me and said, 
he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, thou shalt then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, <clears throat> when they there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, which is going to happen because of this situation that you know the Blasio is speaking of in New York. There's going to be people that's against it. There's going to be people that's with that's with it, and those people that's against it and with it is going to be uh, clashing at each other, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have something you want to add, Karan? No, I'm scripture. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not thirty-six and not six. It says, "Show new signs and make other strange wonders." Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Mm. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. And you might see a lot of wrath yeah. and indignation yeah. coming yeah. up. Yeah. It's like the brother was talking about, uh, you just saw how, you know, the, the mayor talked about, you know, you got to show the papers, man. Yeah. You yeah. biz marquee. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, even uh, the brother of body, I, I was thinking about it earlier, he said his friend down in Columbia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. hey, yeah. hey, my friend in the Dominican Republic said the same thing. You gotta, wow. you know, if you don't have you yeah. know, the muddy water of yeah. the papers, you're not going to no store yeah. or nothing. Mm -hmm. See, you know, so that you know that that's coming very soon. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause a lot of bringing up roars, a lot of wrath and indignation. Um, you know, you can see the tension. You are, you know, brothers already see the tension mm -hmm. that's out there. You know, He's, um, the, the tension between men and women, between dudes, and it just is yeah. out there. You know? Yeah, you got it, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna finish in this right. I'm gonna read to five. Uh, <clears throat> thou shalt thou. Thou shalt, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these, of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, so these things were spoken of from the beginning, man. All right, mm -hmm. for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, and that and the end is manifest. So mm -hmm. these things are manifest. These things are manifestations of the end of this current society, man, mm -hmm. of this world that which we currently live in, man. All right. Once this world dissolves, real quick, what he does. Once this world dissolves, hey, we got the kingdom, man. The kingdom's gonna be built up, man. It's gonna be under Yahweh Shai, man. Under King David, then the elect, and then the rest of you Israelites, man, that didn't want to repent. Yeah. Real quick, seven hundred sixty nine. For Esau is the end of the mm. world, and Jacob is the beginner, the beginning of it that follows. Yeah, you yeah. got it. You got it. Uh, no, go ahead. You got it. You got it. This is your lesson, Con, and, and 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 you know that's exactly what we're seeing. And, you know the form. The fall of the second roman empire yeah. you know and 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 right after this empire falls as soon as this empire falls we got next yeah, that's right that's right you know because there's no turning back at this point you know what i'm saying because this devil is realizing that he has but a short time left mm -hmm. so so you know he has no choice but to go through you know you got it. what he's doing just like uh, I, I think you just had like a recent video I, get, I think so. I ran up on the, one of the Rothschilds. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, one time I posted yeah. a group chat. He was showing me earlier. I ain't yeah. care. Yeah. It's talking all. shit to the, 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 what is it, the Rothschilds? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, um, the, um, the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers, yep, yep. The Rockefellers. The Rockefeller, he was talking shit, man. Even, I think mm -hmm. he had another kingdom was talking shit yeah. to them. So, you know, they, they know that they, that, you know, they can't hide anymore. But they just yeah. got to come on out and uh, do what they got to do. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, in the same time, you know, the Lord is going to bring them down as well. And, they, and they're going to be judged, you know, mm -hmm. because going into Second Thessalonians, the second, not the fourth chapter. You're going to grab it? Yeah, yeah, you go and get it. But it pretty, pretty much talks about how the, um, Esau played and made himself seem as if he was a heavenly father, a force. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. to be reckoned with, he blasts from the heavenly father, just like he's going to... Uh, uh, Hebrews, what is it? Uh, the seven, seven? No, not seven. But it talks about he blast. There's no blasphemy as Esau. Mm, you yeah. know, this is a uh, second. Second Thessalonians one in one in uh, four. Who? Nah, let me. I think it's two. Is it? I'm not. I'm in two. Yeah, I'm sorry. I oh, said yeah, one in four. Because like, I looked right here. Yeah, I said yeah. one up there. But yeah, my <laughs> bad. Uh, this is second Thessalonians two and four. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. Or that is worship, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High. He saw pretty much reconstructed his whole way of everybody thinking. He's he's uh, reconstructed that way. Uh, you know how the image of the Lord. He put himself as a as a as a a, 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 a power an entity to worship. His ways, his decrees, his laws, his statutes, and everything. Mm -hmm. So everything that that's his, that you see in front of us is pretty much 
blasphemy now the father. Yep. You gotta go. Man, I got something for that. I, there's a lot of people starting to realize this man's bullshit. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 10. But but I have made Esau bear. I have covered his secret places. How did Yahweh Yahshua make Esau bear by bringing out you know the truth of what the Lord looks like? Mm -hmm. You know the true doctrine, who the devil is. By you know, prophets. That's by true. his prophets. You know what I'm saying? And and what this man's plan is. You know, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Mm. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. That's all this devil was done was spoiled off of the other nation. You know what I'm saying? Including his brother. But mm -hmm. but you know, like the Akim read earlier, you know, in the book of Second Ezra, you know, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. He so, said there that so like I like said there that he's not spoiled, man. The Lord's about to come spoil Esau, man. The Lord's right. about to come shut this place down, man. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord by the who who who's who's this that comes from Eden with with dyed garments from Basra? Yeah, there you go, man. Yeah, Jeremiah forty nine. Yeah, yeah. He was just reading that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. eighteen. Yep, yep. That's the Lord's gonna get all the spoils of you, damn devils, man. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get it all anyway, right? The scripture says uh, the wealth is never lost; it just transfers. Yep, yeah, transfer mm -hmm. from hand to hand. Bro, I'm paraphrasing like the brother was saying, man. All right, but the wealth that we about to get is the stuff that you didn't give to us uh, on this side, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be far, far much more than we could ever imagine, man. That we mm -hmm. gonna receive, man. And mm -hmm. the Lord's gonna be giving us new things that we haven't seen, man. That's right, man. And we're gonna have all the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Just like going to uh, wisdom of Solomon, the tenth chapter, how um, King Solomon pretty much went to the, the the wisdom of having. He had different uh, knowledge of the elements, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the cre creatures that walked mm -hmm. and so forth. I mean, we're going to have all that double <laughs> oh. in the kingdom. I mean, we're going we're gonna to be able to even go to different, uh, um, you know, uh, galaxies, yep, yep. go deep into the earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, meaning the waters and, yep. you know, different, see different creatures, Leviathan and so forth. Mm -hmm. so, well, I mean, our, our wisdom going to be infinite. Yo, man, yeah. you got to imagine these things, man, to have something to hold on to, man, even in, in your weary times that we coming That's into, right. man. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I put it in the group chat, but there was a, there was an Edomite that saw, you know, concentration camp somewhere in there in uh, the UK, all mm -hmm. right? And it's, it had the C-19 situation on there, you know, just it had C-19 on there, right? So they, they got concentration camps loaded up for people, man, that don't want to comply with, you know, the the, the wine that they spilling out of their mouths, man, all right? Yeah. And you got to make a choice, man. You either going to comply or you're going to die, man. What, what, what we said in the gym today, day, one day, chip or die, right? That's coming, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming. Yeah. That's coming. Yeah. Did I have something? Especially, you know, like when your stomach gets pushed back to your spine, mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. are going to conform. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm right. Uh, Isaiah 13, 16, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times mm -hmm. and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is is his treasure. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the, yeah. the, the wisdom of the Lord, man, is going to keep you stable when you see <laughs> a baby get his head blown out. Yeah. When you see when you see yourself getting your fingers chopped off, man, mm -hmm. because you don't want to comply. I see an accident for our king, uh, king yet. Yeah, people looking like they were about to bug out. People, blow, you know, people had to blow the horn and yeah. go. But they was already on the side of yeah. the road. People just still looking like they were just starstruck. Confused. You know, confused. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it, you know it, hey, the Lord's going to put a different spirit on you out there. You're not going to, mm because -hmm. you're going to understand that this is what people deserve. Yeah. This mm -hmm. whole time. You know, our people forsook the, the truth. You know, everybody, t you know, um, you know, Esau is getting punished in other nations, mm -hmm. you know, for their wickedness. And then two thirds are getting um, judged for their transgression against the Lord, which they, uh, you know, forsake the law. They tarry, you know, many days, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know, that's why the Lord is cutting these channels. You know, that's why the Lord is uh, pretty much by the close, is, is closing up the ark, yep. the spiritual ark, the door of the ark. You know, and those that don't get in, you hey, you had your chance, man. You know, and those that do get in, man, Lord will you endure from you know this time now until the very end, man? Cause you, so like y'all know, yeah, you got it. What do you say about the birth pains? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's only gonna grow and get worse, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're seeing now: the birth pains, and they're getting worse. Addictions. And we're all, ooh, con, and and that goes right into. The book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen. You know, 
uh, kicking out of your houses and that's right destroying your goods what is it evictions you had uh Oh, they're, they're talking about another lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. And then you people think that, you know, Joe Biden's going to give you all some type of relief before this next lockdown. And lockdown's going to happen after you get put out your goddamn house. Yeah, they gave home. you a stimulus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checks. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's gone. That's yeah. gone. What you doing? Oh, gosh, man. A lot of, a lot of people was living high as a hog for a year and did nothing with it. Well, that's why they, uh, you know, they gave them that, what, eight, what 18 months? Yeah. You haven't paid their rent in 18 mm -hmm. months. Yeah. There's people that really they haven't paid their, their rent since the beginning of 2020. Like, what, yeah. what did you expect would happen, man? The yeah. government don't really care about you, man. Yeah, but they nope. gave you a facade to, so you can keep looking forward. They had to give you people some kind of hope. Mm -hmm. So y'all won't just keep on just killing yourself mm -hmm. or, you know, jumping off. Because you already know, people jump off buildings out here. Mm -hmm. They should get too <laughs> People yeah. like the oh, he's the boy, eat him with the gun. <laughs> Stocks fell. <Yeah. laughs> but yet again, oh, that's a lot, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know who posted it on the group chat, but a a major airline service just called oh, Spirit. Oh, Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You posted that in the group chat. Yeah, you posted that in the group chat. They told they, they told the past, they told, yeah, they told the the agents to sneak out if you <laughs> try to get out as you can. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, they, they know, man. I remember riding Spirit Airlines. I remember they said uh, they told some some B dub. Mm. They were like, "Yo, um, certain about your luggage." They, they damn near with the upward end. It was just like a group of five B. Oh, yeah, there was on. a video, right? No, no, no. no I haven't seen there. this oh, damn. coming back from um, overseas. Damn. This was what in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, and um. Yo, even I was like, yo, just let me get a plane. <laughs> yeah, right. Before they, you know, they were, yo, they were like, what the fuck y'all mean? Da, da, da. And they was, like I said, so you cancel 900 flights? I can imagine, you know, they, hey, and they took their pity. money from that pick with the people yep. too? You know, they're not going to pity the, uh, the Spirit Airline people that's at the, uh, the, you know, at the register, whatever. Was that the same airline service that did the same thing last year? Mm, I'm not sure. Really. There was one airline service that left the people stranded. Probably Delta Last or something. Yeah, 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 that's what I think it was. Probably Delta, Delta. Or something like that. So, so not, yeah, go ahead. So yeah, you know, they ain't getting better. You know, those bird pains are really kicking in. Mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, I got, I'm gonna finish off with those shots. Um, it says, uh, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth the, the sloppy. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire. And let and that the slug and that rage of that fire is that's the thermonuclear missiles that's mm -hmm. coming, man. That's right. And ain't no escaping those, man. All right. But we have to have faith all the way up until the very end, man. Mm -hmm. Even at that point, if you see a thermonuclear missile coming, it ain't touch you yet. You still gotta believe that the Lord's gonna save you, man. Yep. You still gotta believe it, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be like Meshach. Meshach Drake in the bed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That bomb would go off and we could be standing in the I mean, we're mm -hmm. not gonna be, but yeah. We'll be protected in those days. That's right. It says, let them perish that oppress the people. Smite us under the heads of the, of the rulers of the heathen that say there's none other but we. Going back to Esau. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, going Second back to Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. That's right. So gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them. That's from the beginning. Mm -hmm. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn, starting with the elect. Yeah. Oh, be merciful to Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion, fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Uh, two more. Give testimony to those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. We and that's you. us, man. We've yeah. been in the name of, the, of your high bar shema man. Yeah. And that the subject of the prophets is, is, is the spirit of the prophets is the subject to the, the prophets, prophets, man. Yeah. And we are doing that, man, to the best of our ability. We've been the only one that's been calling out the oh, wickedness of yeah. 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 oh, the That's the only wickedness yeah. of this place. Yeah. This, um, last one. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophet, prophets be found faithful. Reward them that yeah. wait for thee, man. Right? So the Lord lamentation is, hey, I'm going to grab it right quick. Because you got to wait on the Lord, man. And what's that reward, man? Second, uh, second chapter tell you what that reward is, man. Oh, come on. Come All right. And, and even in Revelation, it tell you what that reward is, man. Go ahead, you got it. <coughs> yeah, um, I'm going to bring out the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 31, and verse 1. You know, this is why we have to wait on Yahweh Shimei Ashai. 
which is what a lot of people won't do. And it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and, and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. And when you look, you know, when, because one thing why people look at look to America because they think America has a lot of abundance. Mm -hmm. They think they got a lot of money, bailouts, and you know, gifts that they can keep passing out. They about to do a global reset. Yeah. So that's the reason why this, it, they make you seem like the facade is they're going to keep on giving you bailouts because they want to crash that dollar, make the dollar no value. So when they everything goes back into the to the Bismarck E, which is everything <laughs> transformed into it, then, uh, you know, you, you, you're you not going to have no other options. You, who, who are you going to run to? Yeah. You know, by that time, yeah, like I said, you you uh, forsaken the truth. You know, you didn't uh, give a damn what the prophet said. So you, the people that didn't take you to this truth, what you're going to do? You're just going to take the Bismarck, which goes into the MOTB, you know? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Continuing on. But they look not into the Holy One of Israel. And we have been out there on the highways and byways trying to teach and preach and warn you people who your power is, you know, and not this devil. Neither seek your hawa. These people ain't looking for your hawa, by shimmy, hawa, shy, and no shape, form, or fashion. You know, they got to wait until the last minute, you know, when tribulation comes upon them, then they want to turn into the Lord. You know, and by then, it's going to be too late because we're about to enter in, into a season of winter. Mm -hmm. You know, the famines are already, already here, but have it hit as hard as it's going to hit, you know? But, uh, so like, what was they talking about? Dark winter and all that other yeah. shit? Yeah. They, they, they set y'all up for the, exactly what it is that they wanted y'all to fall for, man. Y'all yeah. could be outside freezing your ass off, but dark winter goes into something way more different than you being outside freezing your ass off. Yeah. All right, but it, it's, uh, you, you're going to be done for, man. You're going to be running to the system for help, man. Yeah. Instead of seeking the Lord. The words you done, I don't want to hit this one scripture. No, I'm done. Here. This is uh Second Chronicles 15 and 13, that whosoever would not seek it, how a power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, mm -hmm. whether man or woman. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you don't seek the Lord, you're, the, the only outcome for you is death, man. And seeking the Lord is listening, taking heed, doing, all right, believing and having faith, and then going out there doing the work, man, all right? Because what the Lord said, the, 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 the laborers are few, but the uh the work is there's a lot of work, but a few laborers. The harvest is yeah, great, but the yeah. laborers are few. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, you got it. I Karab, you got it. You had something. No, um, um um I was just gonna finish <coughs> I was just gonna finish out this article. You know, your brother's got another piece Oh, so I had one. Uh Jeremiah seventeen and ten. He said, I the Lord search the heart, mm. I try the reins. Even your to, mind, the inner yeah. man. Yeah, wow. it says, uh, leave him to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Okay. So, so, you got it, bro. You so, you know, you know, if you're out here doing all types of folly, that's what you're going to get. You know, you're going to pay for everything that you're doing that's not righteous in the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei That's right. You're going to have to pay for turning your back on the prophets when they're trying to preach and teach you. You're going to have to pay for scoffing you're gonna to have to pay for everything that you have done hey conway uh <laughs> this nigga uh he just wore a dress and he, he just made another comment but it was like a proud ass comment he was like yeah i wore my mcqueen drip nigga still talking and then he had a dude named jamal he was like nigga you threw and i was like <laughs> you know like, so you know jake you reap everything to the flesh, you know. So what's what's going to happen when the day all hell break loose? Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord's going to give you what you, you know, in, in what you you know you reaped in the flesh. Come, you know, you're wicked. You got it, bro. If I say this out, you're going to have to pay for everything you've done based on the law. That's right. Because you haven't you haven't sought your habashim yawashai through grace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when these doors of grace shut, you are now confined to the law. It just like the scripture talk, or what is it, Corinthians when it talks about pretty you know, we're not underneath the law. Mm -hmm. But but our people too those are gonna get judged by the law. And they are through they're gonna be through. Man. When they get judged, they're gonna get through. I feel I feel I just feel bad for them hearing that. Yamashad brought us 
brought, brought us back from yeah. the dead. Yeah, but it's blood, man. Yeah, it's blood. Look, I want to grab that, man. I want to grab it, that, man. That's just, man. Jake is yeah. true. Jake is hurt, man. Yeah. I'd rather be judged through grace mm -hmm. than right. the law. This is Ephesians 1 to 7, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. That's right. Yeah. That's hey. right. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh came on this earth to die for his elect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, to bring us back in. Into the tender mercies of your heart, your right. child. I forgot what uh, in second way Corinthians correct, where it goes into that, but um, yeah, pretty much, man. You know, you Jake, gonna get, yeah, y'all gonna get judged by that law. It says, uh, I'm gonna finish this out real quick. As the partridge sit up on eggs and hatcheth them not, mm. so he that getteth richer and not by right. Mm. He shall leave them in the midst of his days. And all that day, your rich is not by right. <laughs> Guess what Esau does? He uses usury, man. Yeah. That's not right in the eyes of Yahweh Shema Shah. He uses unfair, just and uh, wasted balances, man. That's not that's not right by the eyes of Yahweh Shema Shah. And, and, and even Jake. Yeah, so Jake, that's true. You, think, you know, just because uh, you know, Esau gave you that job, that 401k, whatever, that great, good old job, you know, especially our, our, our women, you know, all these riches that our people have gotten, so called. Which is temporary, you know. Is, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, that's about to be taken away. Yeah, that's right. It says, uh, "Yeah, it says shall leave them in the midst of this day." So the four one k you're gonna leave that um your position because they already start cutting people too. Mm -hmm. You know, especially yeah. if you don't get the uh, the muddy waters. And then if they don't need you, hey, because everybody knows if you got a good if you if you got a uh, salary job, they cutting every the they cutting it anyone that's really they that they, they, they don't need and get, that's getting out, paid high. Yeah. And who you think they're gonna get rid of? Yeah. Jake. They're gonna keep yeah. the you know the Edomites and, one, and the good old Edomites. You know. You know they got the robots too. Yep. Oh man. They got the robots too. So yeah. hey, Jake. Jake is too. You know all all you know all your riches and all your, the money that you throw and all the investments that you the mm -hmm. stocks, you know Bitcoin whatever that you our people are invested in. Hey, mm -hmm. it's not gonna do you no good. Nope. It says, uh, you shall leave him in the midst of his days, and at the end shall be a fool, you know? Mm. I mean, You'll be made to look the fool because everything that you desire in and everything is good. It's like you brought out earlier, uh, um, who to them that going to Egypt mm. and trusting because yeah. East, cause you think America has given you so much. They allowed you to get a house. They allowed you to have a certain amount of cars. They allowed you to, and so forth and so forth. But that's going to be to your demise. I got a precept, Bob. You got it. The book of Proverbs 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth them from death. That's that grace, man. Righteousness is through faith in your house by outside, man. Righteousness is not of the law anymore, man, because we can't keep the law wholeheartedly, man. So we're not going to be righteous based on the law. We're going to be righteous based on the blood of your outside covering us, man. You got it. Hey, so I'm going to finish this up. It's like, glorious have thrown from the beginning is the place of, of our sanctuary. Mm. It said, uh, of, of our rest. Yeah. Of our rest. Yeah. Oh Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee, going back to what you said earlier, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Mm. And they that depart from the from me shall be written in the earth. You know, if you read the earth, the <laughs> mission going to yeah. be yeah. death, famine, and pestilence. Yep. Yep. And it says, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. That's right. So you got it, bro. Hey, the fact you, you forsake the Lord, man, you the only outcome for you is you dying by the sword, pestilence, your family members possibly eating you, all right? You dying by so the, giving you up. Yep, giving you up. Yeah. Yep. That, that dumb shit my grandmother told me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jake man. walking like you walking the goddamn time I saw Have you just considered taking the muddy water? I'm like, well, what? It kind of fucked my sleep up, man. I was you know, I was in one of those <laughs> sleeps, man. It fucked me up because it gave me like that, that uh, like a, a dream came in my head and it was like I was watching on my shoulder because I actually felt like they were like everybody was just watching me like mm. get them damn you know? yeah that's so it, yo yeah. that's put demons that shit put a demon on yeah. me yeah look man in, talking about I thought you shit, about to huh? say you you would have a dream of like you was actually getting it you know because their demons be fucking with you like that Nothing, but I had too. but I, like all like it was like a, 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 a current of dreams that just kept happening. A situation where I was kind of, I was nervous. Yeah. And I was thinking like, yo, they gonna hold me down. And I even had a, like a, a occurrence that they came like they came and held me down to bed and they tried to get, yeah. you know stab me up. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and I jumped out of my seat. I'm like, yo, and this is all doing this. This is 
in, in, in the morning. It was Sunday morning. Man, damn. I got a precept out. You got it, bro. From what you were going into as far as, you know, being portrayed. Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Mm. I come not to send peace, but a sword. This is the point. For I am come to set at variance. I am, so I, yeah, I am come to set at variance a man against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law so that's what time you're actually running into now where everybody's going to want to give everybody up for a piece of the food, sweet american pie sanctuary shelter comfort comfort kind and that's another thing a lot of people are going to have to deal with the fact of being uncomfortable making what you're used to not relevant because you're about to lose it all Mm -hmm. You're going to take your house, but we give you give up uh, that, that name, that person that didn't get the muddy water. Come we'll, we'll give you a, a bailout. You can stay in the house for the rest of the year. Come you don't think the people going to give you up? Yeah, they're yeah. going to give you up. But they ain't got no integrity, man. Yeah. Yeah. This, but, yeah. For the rest of the year, you're going to give up one of your family members, man. What you going to do next year? Come What you going to do he next year? Gave up. Come he ain't going to give up your own family, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's for uh, one year. For a few months. months. Kind. So for comfortability, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you didn't hold keep your integrity to the end. You see that if things see things like that, that's gonna always stay in your conscience. Mm -hmm. And that's why eventually, that's why Jake is always when when our hell starts breaking loose, Jake is really gonna bug out. Mm -hmm. That's why you see Jake now in their conscience. There, that's why they on drugs and they do certain things because they have been through a lot of shit and they done a lot of wickedness, mm -hmm. which they know that wasn't right. Yeah, Jake gonna be show shocked when this. Yep. They gonna be show shocked when this comes down. But Jake don't realize you might just die instead of putting yourself in a situation like that. It would be better for him. Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, here it is, my mother. Even though she took, she got uh, took the muddy water, I wouldn't give her up. Yeah, yeah that you know, that's my mother. You know, I, mm -hmm. as a man, I would scripture like uh, what's it now, Eleazar. In the, in the second book of Matthew, we will come to mind. Yo, mm -hmm. Just accept death. Yeah. You know? And then on top of that, the scripture says, respect your, honor your father yeah, and your right. mother, man. There's no honor in giving up your mother, man. All right? Nope, and it says, right. uh, so you can live for a couple more minutes, yes. man. They also go to love thy neighbor. Yeah. Love thy brother. Yep. Love, lay thy life for your thy brother. Mm -hmm. it's all, man, that's why, it's, see, this scripture makes you a man again. It brings in, it makes you a living spirit. Now you know now, Things that I have to do and how to die with integrity. Cause you know that's that's one. That's how that back in the day, them old movies were, were good. Mm -hmm. Cause men die with integrity, mm -hmm. and they would have a cut scene before he put got the death. He said, uh, "What like movie three hundred? <laughs> the movie three hundred? Yeah. He said, uh, he said, you know that little cut scene. They said, well, basically put down your sword. Oh, come and get them." Yeah, yeah, you know. He, he said, What? <laughs> he already knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Like, they wanted him to give up. When he threw the jab, yeah, like, like, yeah, he threw, he threw the uh, the spirit at the uh, um, exertion, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just killed him. Yeah, but he knew he'd rather die with his fellow men mm -hmm. instead of, you know, because he already was giving um, the little midget, you know, your boy, yes, yeah. <laughs> can I get his uniform? <laughs> can I at least get a uniform, you know. But the thing about it is to see this description, this this book makes us, uh, you know, living again, man. And the scripture to die for, it's, honorable. It also makes us men again. Yeah. You it know? says, uh, remember, your, remember the old ways, remember the old past. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's another scripture that says, uh, remember yourself to be men, you know? Show yourself to be a man. Real yeah. quick, First Corinthians 6 and 9, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, mm. nor effeminate. And that's, mm. a, that's a feminine spirit. You giving up and selling out or mm. turning your back or dishonoring your, your brother just for a, for a little bit of peace, for just for a little bit of time to live. Yeah. Then even Elias are even. He said that, right? Yeah. yeah, he yeah, said, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to turn on my, my kinsmen just to live a, a couple more, more minutes. A couple more minutes. Because like, if, if he would have did that, he would have lived. The Lord could have took him out of the way worse or worse mm -hmm. away. That and because he was like, hold on. And he thought about his his whole nation. Mm -hmm. He said, hold on. I don't want the, the young 
of the, the younger generation looking at me as if I oh he an old out. man. Of course he gonna bitch up. Mm -hmm. He sold you know? out. Yeah, he sold out. He old anyway. He old bastard. Shit. Yep. You know? He said, nah, I'm gonna keep my table to the death. And then it, hey, then then he even said he's not the same men that, that that was egging me on to sell out. He now the they words turned against them. Then they turn against him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. He, he saw like, huh. This oh, this turn your own people out. We'll give you a little bit of comfortability. They yeah, start being like, man. Then you start being like, man, get the fuck out. Then I'm saying, what you gonna hold him? No, man. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him. So that really showed you Esau not for your own good. Mm -hmm. And when he comes to you to present you some type of uh, 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 wickedness, that's gonna pull on your, you know, your life or your death. A gift to the heart. Give, a gift to show the heart. I got something right yeah. quick. This yeah. is Second Ezra 16 and 68. The point is 69. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Mm. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Going back mm, to what yeah. you were saying. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're going to be, you consent now. Guess what? You consented to, you know, turn in, you know, uh, your mother or your brother, all right, for your extra couple months of your house. And then guess what? Esau is laughing at you because next month they're gonna come to your house with some more bullshit, or next month they're gonna kick you out of your house. Hey, man, the scripture say that's what. No, I'm saying. Let me read that again. Need the fornicators. Mm. You know, you, you need to fornicate. That, that going into uh, you know, being amongst your society. Yeah. It says uh, idolater. Yep, that's right. Idolater, uh, and, and an adulterer. You know, because if mm. you give yourself to America, you're an adulterer. That's right. You know, because we're, we're betrothed to Yahweh. Yeah, yep. you know, Yahu. And that's why we crying yeah. out now we're doing crying these videos, We're, supposed, we're yeah. supposed to be crying out because he saw trying to rape you. Yeah. So he, he raping you to, man, just, you know, I'm going to give you some good love, man. Just, 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 I'm going to give you gifts after mm -hmm. him. He's supposed to be like, what? He supposed to scream out. Yeah. yeah. And then he supposed to say, he's trying to, and he, he was trying to entice me with gifts. Come it says, uh, no idolaters, no effeminate, no abuse of yourself with mankind, mm -hmm. no thieves, no confetches, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortionists, and have the kingdom of Yahweh. And all those that take this uh vaccination, all right, those are all the individuals that the brother just listed off yep. within the within the scriptures, man. First Corinthians six and nine, especially effeminate, especially effeminate because you're scared, man. Mm -hmm. Especially effeminate because you don't have no faith in your how about your mouth shot. You believe big mom. <laughs> Yeah, old man, big mama through. You, I know you had a bunch of items you wanted to read as far as art. Oh, oh now nah, um, um, I'm going to end it off in this last paragraph. Um, not everyone is going to agree with this. I understand that, he said. But for some people, this is going to be the life-saving act. Lie. We are putting a mandate in place. It will guarantee a much higher level of vaccination in this city that that is the key to protecting people and the key to our recovery that's why it's the key to new york city the key to new york city pass opens a lot of doors and we need it hey so it's in the form of a key man all right it's in the form it's it's symbolically a key man for you to get in and get out of places man all right what wait till new york city all right, New York City's like an experiment. And they're, they're, they're the chess center. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. California and New York is the chess center. Yeah, so once they yeah. Do man mandate something. Yeah, up, it's all the yeah. Down. Exactly. Yeah, I don't got no other precept. I got one more. Come on. I don't know why I'm feeling the internet not working. Yeah, I don't got no internet over here. Oh, yeah, it's I, okay. yeah, I ain't got no Wi Fi over here. And now my server's not working. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah, mine was out earlier too. Uh, Luke 9 to 23. And this is very important right here. It says, and he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself mm. and take up his cross daily and follow me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's deep within itself. You know, deny yourself of all these abominable pleasures of this way. Yeah. You know, man. Yeah. You, you know, know trying to be rich and famous. Kids. Yeah. You know, because you, you got to understand, you always, you always got to remember the seven brothers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau might snatch you up and your kids up and, and make kill them in front of you, murder them in front of you. But you have to keep your, your integrity, you know? Hey, you gotta remember it's better for them to be dead than continue to live exactly. in this fucked up world, man. That's right. 
You gotta remember, this is the fucked up world, yeah, bro. Yeah. You seeing grown men become bitches, <laughs> getting pummeled, literally, literally, blowing rod. All right, I don't even hear no more. Hey, there you, that's you go, shit, man. That's because it's go. fucking wicked, man. You go, man. That shit is nerve wracking, man. It's vexing. Yeah, yeah, they got power. Yeah, everything about this place was mm. not meant for us to make it. That's right. Everything about this place is wicked. You pick something, it's wicked. Nothing about this place other than what you see right here and and the men of GMS and those who teach a like doctrine, righteous. Nothing. And we try to be righteous, man. Sure. Come. We try to be righteous. Come. We die every day. Because there was only one that's good, even the Lord said it, you know? Yeah. So the, our Lord said he wasn't good, man. How much How much more are we? And we below the Lord, you know? Come. It's a lot of Yeah, no, we just yeah. try, man, you know? That's why we're here, I, you know? Yeah, so that's all I got. Hey, you want to wrap it up? You go ahead, Karate, you wrap it up. Hey, uh, you know, low as well. You know, uh, you brothers and sisters, let it fly. You know, um, first of all, we'll give our prayers on the glory. To the I walk by, by, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, by Shem, by Shem, You know, um, hey, go on to the Apostle GMS. You know, salutation to the Akimah, the Akwaf. Again, man, you know, just, just strive, man, keep pushing. Remember, you know, we're living in good times, but the thing about it, the time that we're living in, we're about to, your comfortability is about to get altered. You know, but remember the end goal, remember the large picture. This is not of us. You gotta deny yourself. And, you know, we're, we're, we're seeking that uh, righteous kingdom. But before you get it, a lot of things, you're gonna see a lot of things. Hey, with that, it's a lot of